one idea acted upon can change your life forever. I won't stand by and watch it waste away. share a story of when I was in church and I had this idea in church to email every single booking agent in Japan that handles artists in Japan. Now let me give you some backstory here. I was uh, on tour and the record label had emailed me and told me we're selling albums in Japan. And they were trying to sell me to a deal that would basically take all my publishing and get me into a bad deal, okay? Because you got to understand, when I signed to a label, it was not like glory days. I wasn't selling a lot of records. I didn't have a lot of success. I didn't. You know, the signing was just the part of it. And I thought that was the end of the dream. But thank God I didn't quit. And I got a call saying we're selling all these albums, tens of thousands of albums. And... They're trying to pressure me to sign a full deal and, and steal all my publishing and kind of taking advantage of me. And this is why ignorance is not bliss. And, you know, not knowing something can hurt you. Not having the right knowledge can hurt you. And that's why I believe in prayer. That's why I believe in calling out to God for wisdom. I think it's Jeremiah, Jeremiah 33, 3 that says, Call on me and I'll tell you those things that you do not know. So if there's something you don't know, you're trying to figure it out, call on God, ask for wisdom. In Proverbs it says to, to call on me and I will give you wisdom. And so I'm in this situation where, you know, we're still struggling financially, trying to figure out life. You know, I'm in church trying to worship God and I'm also just trying to think about how am I going to pay the bills and I've got this thing happening in Japan and, you know, the label saying if you sign, then, you know, we'll, uh, we'll pay for your trip to Japan and trying to like lure me in in a way to, to sign this deal that I didn't want to sign. And so at the, in church, I get this, I believe it was, it was, it was Holy Spirit inspiration. Whether you believe in, not, believe in God or not, He believes in you, all right? And so I get this idea to email all these booking agents and, and, and just say, hey, this is, this is Chris, this is Manifest, and you know, I'm selling a lot of albums in Japan right now. Can we set up a tour? Is there something that we can do? And I sent these emails out. Within 24 hours, I had two responses from two booking agents. And then within a week later, we had a full expenses paid, could bring my wife, bring my band, get paid really, really well, and go to Japan. And I could have ignored that thought. I could have ignored that idea and just go, eh, I don't know about that. that that might not work. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. You know. Uh, nah. Just kind of just rubbed it off. How many times do we get ideas that we don't act upon that could totally change the course of our life, change our family tree? Uh, if I didn't act upon that idea, you might not have. I might not still be doing music because if it wasn't for, for, for Japan and having some success to fuel the fire because sometimes man you feel like quitting you don't think I don't feel like quitting and giving up you think I always feel like oh I'm just gonna shoot a video today and just feel so inspired no sometimes you need something to keep pushing keep you going and I always say that action fuels success by sending out those simple emails following up I didn't know who to email I just did a quick Google search started looking on stuff Oh, this guy looks like he books rock bands and artists in Japan. I'll email him and just say, hey, look at this. This is what's going on. Do you think this can work? Maybe you've got an idea for an invention, a business idea. I had an idea for a business idea the other day, and honestly, I still haven't acted upon it. And ideas are worthless unless you act upon them. Ideas are a dime a dozen. You know, ideas are nothing. Even a product is nothing. You know, I tell a lot of artists and musicians that I coach and stuff and people like, you might have a product, you might have a book, you might have a CD, you might have a t-shirt or something really cool, right? But it's not about just the idea, the item, it's about can you sell it? Do you know how to sell it? Do you know how to move it? Do you know how to get it out there into the public and make money with it? Because song ideas are nothing unless I record them. And then once they're recorded, they're nothing unless they're, they're promoted and marketed. And this is the same thing with like your books or inventions or business idea. 
you gotta take it to the next level, my friend. So take whatever idea it is that you have and move it from this embryo state in your mind and write it down and get busy getting it out there. Put the effort to get it out there, my friend. What are you, what are you procrastinating on? What are you waiting on? Wow, someone might not like it or they might say, you know, it's not good or they might say, that is awesome. We wanna invest in you, that's a great idea. Let's take this out to the marketplace. Let's make a difference in changing lives. If I didn't send that email, I might not have changed the lives. You see, your life matters. You matter, your message matters, your ideas matter, but get them out of your head. Choose one, you might have a million different ideas, but choose one and go all in on it. Go all in on it, go 100%. Block out everything else and say, this is what I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna go all in on it. Hey, I wanna remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails, a fighter is someone who never quits. It's not over. Every lie, but we can't go back. This is our life.